Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And today we're in Carlisle, Pennsylvania at the Chrysler Nationals. Well, a perfect day to come on out and hang with us. And I'm with Joy, the Cuda girl. So Joy, first of all, what kind of car do you have today? I have my 70 AAR Cuda here with me today. 70 AAR Cuda, of course, what the Cuda girl would have. So how long have you had this one? I've uh, had this car two years. I want to hear all the stories of why you're the Cooter Girl. Let's take a look at the featured attraction. So, Joy, step right alongside me. Come on back with me. Okay. And tell me how it all became the Cooter Girl. Okay, so this all starts back from probably my childhood. My dad always had muscle cars. Um, <laughs> I've loved them probably, he tells me, since I was six years old. Um, now, what's the first muscle car you remember? My first muscle car with my dad, he had a 65 uh, Corvette convertible, 396 big block, uh, four speed. Yes. <laughs> um, I always wanted to be in the garage hanging out with him and his friends with the cars. Um, it just kind of gravitated for you. <laughs> it gravitated for me, yes. It's in my blood, that's what I say. That is great. We've got the strobe stripe. Yep. As you see, it gets tighter as we go down to the all important. A A R Cuda. Now this car has a unique color. That's what caught my attention. What's the color of this car? Okay, so the color code is FF4. Uh, the color name is Lime Green Metallic. Now when I think Lime Green, I think of a different Cuda than this one. So that was unique when you when you shared with me. You said, "Look, I've got a," and that's the correct fluted trumpet, correct? That's correct. It comes right out before the front. Very specific. And guys, you know. I think that says it all right there. So, <laughs> so come on back. Okay. Love the little tail on this one. And then of course, all hers, not his. So there's no question, Joy wants everybody to know she's the Cooter girl. So come on back with me. So you're a little girl, dad's got the Corvette, and how did you end up being the Cooter girl then? Well, when I was old enough to get my driver permit, um, my dad said to me, well, what kind of muscle car do you want? And I always loved E-bodies. Yeah, let's um, open this trunk too. I wanted to have an E-body. He found me a 70 Challenger, and I wound up with that car as my first car at 16. Mr. Norm. Mr. Norm. <laughs> and you hanging out. <laughs> Got it. All right. And I had that car for a while and unfortunately for me I couldn't afford to continue to drive the car because I had a, quite a few repairs to do on the car. Okay. I was um, glad to I was, see, I was glad to hear you didn't have quite a few tickets. No, no, no tickets. All right, no tickets. So somehow I get the feel, fact feeling that you may get out of some tickets. All right, so let's shut that trunk please. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, go ahead. May I may I show the interior? Sure. Okay. So keep telling that story. Okay, so then my dream car was always to get another e-body, but of course, you know, life happens, you get married, you have kids. Yeah, right. Um, you know, you just kind of have to put it on hold for a while. So when my son graduated from school and college, um, Marcus said to me, what kind of car do you want? What do you, and I said, well, I'm going to go big or go home. So I said, I want an AAR <laughs> I'm you going big or I'm going home. What an ultimatum. All right, go so, ahead. I was specific. Um, he knew that I always loved to drive a stick. Um, I said I definitely want to have a four-speed car. And, um, you know, searched for her a, a while trying to find, like, the, the right car for me. It's a, a lot of fun searching for cars. Um, there's not a lot out there. They're, they're, they're rare. And uh, I was fortunate to find this car through a friend who had a friend. Um, and uh, went over to see this car. And um, took me for a ride, and that was it. That was it. <laughs> that was it. All done. So now I'm just kind of curious. So now you've got this car, yep. and does it just kind of feel like the right car for you? Oh, yeah. Um, I think when all was said and done, we decided that we were buying the car. Would you mind if I share your tattoo? Oh, no, not at all. Okay. So I have my Mopar tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> with the chain. With the chain. Yep. And the uh, Cuda Girl is back here. 
because <laughs> okay, <go ahead>. because <laughs> um, as soon as I bought the car, yeah. I said she's the Cuda girl. She's the Cuda girl. Let's. Uh, we've got the matte hood that was always familiar with the AARs. Let's uh, let's pop the uh, pop the hood, shall we? Okay. Mark's gonna pop that. That'd be great. Thank you, Mark. We don't want the fingernails so, so, to do anything. So, so um, actually, show the fingernails. So I think that's... Yeah, we don't want to scratch anything. Yeah, see, <laughs> I, I mean, won't. that's... you got to love this. Give that me the force. Give me the force speed. That's and right. give me the great nails. That's right. This is what we're talking about. Now, all AARs, when done like this, all back to original, have the... 340, as you can see, and I like that yours is all original. Yeah. You know that that to me is is the, the whole piece. And then the nice thing about yours too, which is the other ones, is that second badge right yeah, there. Yeah, right. You know that kind of. So when you're finding this car in the color, right. you know, I mean, did you see other AARs or did you see other 440s or? I, I saw other AARs. Um, saw other Cudas. I, my heart was set on an AAR, so um, I mean, this was this was the perfect car for me. Yeah. Um, I just I fell in love with it. It yeah, was my dream it. car, and actually, by the way, I, I congratulations on getting your dream. Thank you, that's thank you. Great. I actually took a picture off the internet yeah. of an AAR Cuda, never knowing I would ever look at this color car. Yeah. I had it on my wall. It yeah. said, "If you're gonna dream, dream big." That's it. When I got this car, I forgot that I had that poster, and Mark said, oh my god. That's <laughs> and it. And it turned out, that was That's the car it. I got. Let's fire it up, shall we? Sure. I'm going to listen to it idle. We'll let you step on the brake so I can see the taillights, which nicely we have in the shade. And then we'll uh, we'll let the Cooter Girl give it a rev. And by the way, I won't be behind it, of course, because the exhaust is on the side. <laughs> to an idol. treat so much fun meeting you so much fun having the cuda girl on the channel thanks Lou. make sure you tell all your mopar friends what a treat my pleasure thanks for being on my car story thank you so much